All selections, regardless of tool, can be added and subtracted from one another. They can also use multiple tools with one another. So for example, if I just grab the marquee tool and I select this face over here, what if I want this area over here? I can hold the shift key down and I can add that. And what if I want perhaps just the grass? So holding the shift key allows me to add selections together. Holding down the option key subtracts selections from one another, like so. Now I'm going to hit Command D and select these. Now these functions can be found in the for each tool. If you notice under the let's say the lasso, we have these boxes up here. If I grab the wand, we also have these boxes up here. What these allow me to do is, as opposed to using key commands, I can just tab. For instance, if I hold down the wand and go like this, and then grab this box up here, it adds to a selection. So by default, it adds together pieces. If, however, I, let's say, grab a lasso here, and I want to subtract, I can go to this next box over here, and if I roll over it, it will pop up and say subtract from selection. And then I can subtract from a selection. So, for example, let's say I grab this and I say, okay, I want to grab this piece over here, this face, hold down the shift key, and I also would like to grab this world, like so. And then let's say I also want to use my quick wand selection. I want to grab the grass. So I'm going to go like this, drag it along. So now I have selected the face, the circle, and the grass. And if I just command X, you can see those areas that I've selected. So holding down shift for adding, option for subtracting, and it those are the easiest ways to get the selections that you want and use multiple tools together.